कारण पूर्ण ते वरणच असतं पातळ मग ते कचरा कुजत नाही त्याच्यामुळं खत पण लवकर तयार होत नाही उशीर लागतो ते सगळं पाणी काढायला हे सुकावायला इन द पास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑफ वर्किंग विथ वेस्ट पिकर्स आर एक्सपीरियन्स इन सेटिंग अप डॉ स्टेप कलेक्शन मॉडल हेज बीन दॅट वेस्ट पिकर्स आर विलिंग टू मेक ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेचेस इन देअर वर्क इन देअर लाईफ to ensure that they meet with the growing demands of solid waste management in the city so they are willing to move from a system of free collection of waste or itinerant collection of waste where they went around uh, to containers used sacks and collected recyclable material from there and now are willing to go at a fixed time to households and collect waste from there they are willing to make a huge transition in their operations of work in their terms of trade recognizing that the solid waste management needs of the city have changed and that they need to adapt their conditions of work if they want to survive there's a lot of energy content in that waste that we throw away and don't want anymore the cost of this waste is just about 3 to 4 rupees a kg and we sell it at a cost which is really doesn't allow us to be sustainable in our operations it's not obvious what is the most economical or environmentally sustainable way to manage waste in urban environment but really to get at the heart of the economics and the environmental you need to know what's being produced where it's going the focus of the Tata Center I would say is establish a baseline for what is the composition of waste in a city in India and then to develop a suite of solutions for those challenges and so it's a real multidisciplinary partnership with people both at MIT and here in India Swatch and the MIT team hope to continue to work together to not only provide data collection in additional Indian cities but to create a working model for waste management that brings together both the formal and informal sector and is environmentally, socially and economically sustainable.